hey what's up guys and welcome back to anime making tool and today i'm going to be giving you one of my personal own stories it's called what if naruto was a vampire yeah guys this is a script that i created and i hope you guys enjoy remember to get this one to 100 like as usual if you enjoy it comment down below and tell me i'll be replying and talking back to all of you and also go ahead and check out the new episode of what if naruto had multiple people sealed inside of him over an anime king and on this channel i'm going to be posting a new episode of what if aizuna uchiha was naruto's ancestor so stay in tune for that and i hope you guys enjoy and remember if you're new and this is the first time you hear my voice and you enjoy the videos on both anime making and anime making too go ahead and click that red subscribe button and join both channels and become a part of the anime making family and thank you all for your help and your support and stay in tune guys but without further ado let's begin this new series start the intro <laughs> <laughs> we start this episode in a new universe, far away from the Naruto universe, with two people running down the street as both of them was covered in blood. Their names was Eva, a girl. She had blonde hair with red eyes. She looked around 18 years old, but she was actually a thousand years old as she was a vampire. Along with her brother, Marcos, as the both of them were running and Marcos was limping, behind them was hundreds, hundreds upon people with strange books and weapons. They were mage as they were chanting. Come back here you demon, said the leader of the group that was running down Eva and Marcos. Marcos then looked at his sister, Eva, here. Take this, as he gave her a paper with some strange writing on it. Why are you giving me this? The both of us will escape together. As he looked at her, if bad comes to worse, you have to go on without me. No, I can't leave you here, she said. Look at me, I'm healing, but their magic is making me heal at a slow pace, near to a human healing. So it doesn't look like, as he then coughed up blood, no, stay with me, she said as she grabbed onto him, putting a hand around his shoulder. As he realized he was slowing her down, so Marco stopped. What are you doing? Eva shouted as tears were coming out of her eyes. Eva, go. If I stay with you, I'm just going to slow you down and you're going to get caught. Now go. I won't leave you, she said. Marco then hears something behind him as... He saw the mages and the leader of the group, a man called Ezekiel. As Ezekiel looked at Marcos, as he started to chant some strange words, as he slammed his hand on the ground and chains break from the ground and wrapped around Marcos. As Marcos couldn't move as he was struggling out of the chains, Eva rushed over and tried to touch the chains, but they turned red as Marcos screamed out in pain as his skin was being burned. As Eva tried to break away the chains, but they wouldn't break as she was crying. Eva! Marcos screamed out. Run! Now! I can't leave you, brother, she screamed. As Ezekiel said die, as a chain shot from his hand, the chain had a pointed tip as it burst right through Marcos' shoulder. As Ezekiel started to pull on chain, as Eva eyes turned a darker shade of red, as her teeth extended her fans. Eva, no, said Marcos, as he looked at her. Please, there is too much of them. As he said that, a giant fireball came towards Eva as she had to jump back, as she looked up to see three flying mage. Eva, run, said Marcos, as she watched him speak his last words. 
as Ezekiel creaked that sword out of nothing and sliced off Marco's head. As Eva watched as her brother's head fell to the ground that thud. As Ezekiel pulled back the sword, as he then stabbed it right into Marco's heart. As Marcos was still alive even though his head was separated. As he was looking at Eva as he muttered the words, run. But Ezekiel said one word, ignite. As Marcos' body lit up in fire, as Eva watched as her brother, body and his head turned to dust. As a dark aura came around Eva, as blood was dripping from her mouth, seeing that she bit down on her lips so hard, as she looked feral and dangerous, as she stepped forward, I'm going to, I'm going to kill you all, she screamed. But five mage came in front of her as they fire, five large fireball towards her, and ice pierced as the ground that she was standing on exploded as Eva was sent flying back. The tag that Marcos had gave her fly towards the wall as it paced on the wall. Blood was dripping from Eva as she slammed on the wall with pure force. The tag then started to glow red as her blood drip on the tag. It was then the place started to shake. No, said Ezekiel, stop her now, we can't let her escape. As a rip in dimension start to open. No, if she disappear, we will never find her, said Ezekiel. As all of the mages prepare their most powerful attack. As Ezekiel raised his arm, as a sword was created. At the Naruto universe, a seven-year-old Naruto was crying in the woods. Seeing that he got chased by the villagers. And he ran out in the woods and he fell asleep. He was tired of all the beating and hate. He just recently wake up and all the wounds on his body was healed. As he still doesn't know how, he was able to heal so quickly. But he thanked God for that because he would have been in extreme pain. As he was crying, what did I do? He cried. What did I ever do to them? He asked himself. Even at school, it wasn't much better for him. There was his classmate Sasuke Uchiha who always wanted to act like he was better than him and all of his fangirls, especially Sakura and Ino, they always treated him like pure crap, saying that Sasuke was far better than him every time he tried to challenge Sasuke and it seems like no one in this village cared about him, well except for a few, the people that he loved in this village, the third Okage is Jiji. He had the old man and his daughter. Those people always gave him ramen when he has no money and he loved them like they were his family. But other than that, he was alone. He always wondered why he was alone, wondering if his parents decided to leave him as they hate him like the rest of the villagers. He still doesn't understand why they hate him. He then saw the world literally being teared right in front of him as he instantly got up. What the hell is that? He wondered as he walked up to it. As he stretched out his hand, it then exploded as he could see a lot of bright lights. Something then dashed past Naruto as Naruto looked at the bright lights. As he realized, he saw a fireball, ice spears as Naruto wasn't fast enough to move as all of the attacks burst right through the wormhole and shot right into Naruto as the sword that Ezekiel fired pierced right into Naruto's heart as ice spears went all over his body as the fireball burned his skin third degree burns instantly Naruto collapsed on the ground as Ezekiel was running towards a wormhole, trying to get through, but it closed. As Naruto coughed up a lot of blood, in his mind he didn't understand what was going on or what just hit him. As he tried to move his head but he couldn't, he was in such pain as his eyes were going low. As he could feel the life force being sucked out of him. Am I dying? 
as he couldn't even talk. Meanwhile, inside of his mindscape, Kurama was looking around. He was forcing his chakra through the cell as he was trying to heal his host. But nothing was working. Damn brat. Went and die on me. You know how long it's going to take for me to reform? Kurama sighed. At least I'll be out of this disgusting cell, he said. Meanwhile, with Naruto, his eyes were closing. As he felt something on his shoulder. As he slowly cracked open his eyes. As he saw a yellow-haired girl with red eyes. As Naruto couldn't speak as his eyes were still closing. He then watched as the girl bite down on her hand hard. As blood started to flow. As she put her hand at his lip. As he heard the words, drink, drink now, the girl said. As Naruto didn't understand, but she forced her hands and the blood was seeping into Naruto's throat. Back in the mindscape, Kurama saw the light fading out. But he then sensed something as he saw a drop of blood drop right into the water of the mindscape. As Kurama saw the entire water turn red, a red shade filled the entire area and the bars were now red as spikes appear on the bars. The spikes then got large as they stab into Krama and his tails trapping him inside the cell as Krama didn't know what was going on as he could feel the kid dying but something was wrong. He was stuck as Krama started to curse thinking that he would die. As he cursed out Minato's name, thinking that the Fortokage put something in the seal, so if Naruto died, he will die along with him. As he was cursing, as one of the spikes stabbed really hard in his back, as he felt the thing suppressing his chakra to a level where it is almost not even there. You can't even sense his chakra anymore, as Kurama collapsed as he passed out. Meanwhile, back with Naruto, Eva stood over Naruto as she was crying. She saw this boy when the wormhole opened as she rushed inside of this strange place knowing that her brother Marcos told her if she used it she would go to another universe. She didn't really understand everything about it but at least she was safe but this boy was at the entrance of the wormhole when she got here. As those attacks messed him up really badly he had gaping holes through his body seeing that the ice spikes pierced him really badly so she did the only thing she could do to save him seeing that she didn't know that he possessed a fox inside of him or she know anything about this world she doesn't but even with Krama those wounds would be fatal for Naruto so she let him drink her blood knowing one thing when he die he will come back like her at least she could bring him back if he doesn't want to live that way, he has a choice, not become a vampire. But she would give him that choice. After drinking the blood, Naruto was still dying as he slowly closed his eyes and drifted off into the endless sleep. As Naruto snapped his eyes back open, he was in a world of pure white. As he could see two figures, two shadows. He then saw something, a red hair, as color started to set in. He then saw a blonde hair, as he was walking over to them. But a demonic hand, girt into Naruto's back, as the hand started to pull him, as Naruto dropped on the ground screaming, as the hand started to pull him, until it pulled him back in the real world. As Naruto snapped his eyes open, as he quickly jumped up. Eva had already removed all of the spikes and the sword from his chest. As Naruto looked around, as he didn't see anyone, back inside the mindscape, Kurama woke up as he could feel it. Something changed. His host seemed to be between life right now. He was on deathbed and he had a foot in the living world. What is this feeling? Kurama wondered. As his host was supposed to be dead, and how is he still here? As Kurama couldn't understand how is this possible. As he then thought about it, that blood 
that strange blood that entered the system. It was that blood that activated some strange spikes that stabbed right into him, making him unconscious for a while. As Krama felt something different about himself as well, he felt shallow, that something was wrong. His body felt weird, he didn't know how to explain it. Back with Naruto, Naruto looked around as he was sweating and panting. I thought I was a goner, he said. You were, said a voice. As Naruto quickly jumped up, as he spin around and saw a woman standing there, as he remembered he saw her, as everything came to him, she was the one giving him her blood, as he now realized she was beautiful, as he saw her silky blonde hair and her red eyes. Who, who are you? Naruto asked. I am Eva, she said, as she walked up next to him. May I ask, where are we? Um, we're in Konoha. Konoha? What is this place? She asks. Well, we're in one of the five elemental nations. Well, that is what I learned at school anyways, Naruto said. And we're in one of the great village, Konoha. And there are other villages. Are you from one of them? No, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm not from around here. As Naruto felt something, it was like his body was being burned from the inside. As he ran and agonizing pain. What's happening to me? He said. As Eva looked down at him, you're going through the transition, she said. Don't worry, it will fade in a couple of seconds, said Eva. As, true to her words, after a couple of seconds, the pain was gone. As Naruto got up. What the hell is going on? What's the transition? And what happened? Naruto said. First thing she said. My name is Eva. I already told you that. Oh yeah, sorry. She said rubbing the back of her head. And I am a vampire, she said. As she extended her fangs. As Naruto quickly dropped to the ground. As he started to shake in fear and backed away. Don't be scared, she said. You're gonna be like me soon, she said looking down. As she knew it would be rough on him. As she then looked back up. But he was gone. What the hell? As Naruto was running for his life. As a 7 year old should do. When someone just told him that they're a vampire. And showed him her fang. As Naruto was running for his life. As he didn't want to draw attention to himself. As he ran straight back into the heart of the village. And quickly to his apartment. As he fumbled with the key. As he pulled the door and slammed it behind him. And locked it as he quickly went over to his bed and covered himself with his sheet as he was shaking. What the hell just happened? Vampire? As Naruto doesn't know what a vampire is, he thought it was some kind of a monster, but yeah, he was right. But he didn't know what it really was because he never seen this girl around the village yet. And she came through that weird wormhole he thought. So she must be a creature here to eat him. As he wondered. If she's connected to the nine-tailed beast that attacked the village several years ago, as he wondered, should he tell Jiji? What should he do? A thought then came to his mind. These villagers and their ninjas kept on messing with him as he wondered if someone did that transformation jutsu that Aruka told him about, that they will learn soon to pass the exam and mess with him. Yeah, that's probably it, he said as he threw off the covers. Why did you run to the voice? As Naruto instantly backed up to the bathroom door. As he turned to see Eva entering through his window. <laughs> what do you want? And if you're a ninja, stop messing with me, he said. Haven't you guys hurt me enough today? He asked in a trembling tone. A ninja? Messing with you? I am not, she said. Then what do you want, Naruto asked. I was going to explain. But you ran off before I could. Listen to me. You have a choice. To become a vampire or die. Vampire? What's that? He asks. Really? Where the heck am I? Eva said. You guys don't know about vampires? But she was a bit happy inside. Because back at her home. They hated vampires. And she was hiding. In secret until. Her secret got leaked by someone who she thought was her close friend but he was actually a follower of Ezekiel 
as she trusted him with her secret, she was actually starting to fall in love with him, but she didn't confess anything to him yet, knowing that she was a vampire. His name was Aizan, and she couldn't believe Aizan betrayed her when she saw him with Ezekiel. He was so different, he wanted to kill her, as she just looked down in shame. Meanwhile, Naruto was shaking. Oh, answer my question, he said, as she looked back at him with an angry scowl as Naruto jumped. So, sorry about that, she said. Well, I'm a vampire. Well, we're basically immortal creatures that have to drink blood. Well, you will know more about it if you take the step. Take what step? I told you, you have a choice. Become a vampire or what are Nerta asked or die she said. What, what do you mean die? Nerta asked her in a trembling tone. If you do not complete the transition, you will die in 24 hours. As Nerta collapsed on the ground, dropping everything, as those words ring through his head, transition, vampire, dying? I don't understand, he said. Let me put this in a way you'll understand. I gave you my blood and then you died. Dying with my blood in your system turn you into a vampire. And with that, you are now in transition and if you don't drink blood in the next 24 hours, you will die plain and simple. That's it. So what will you do? Choose. I, I can't just choose, he said. What were you saying about vampire and blood, he asked her. If you go too long without drinking blood, you can decay and then you will go in a mummified state and you won't regain consciousness until you drink some blood. I have to drink human blood? Yes, you can drink animal blood as well, but human blood is the most fresh, she said to him. But it's going to take a while for you to learn how to control yourself. So I will have to teach you and stay here with you, she said. I don't really have anywhere else to go, she said to herself. As she looked at Naruto who was still shaking. Blood? Die? No, I won't drink any blood, he said to her. I will die. What? said Eva. I know it's a hard decision, but do you really want to die? As Naruto looked at her, seeing that she said he's going to die, he don't really feel like hiding anything. As his mood completely changed, he wasn't trembling anymore. He just looked down. I have went through so many crap in my life. From the moment I could see and understand what was going on around me, I was beaten severely by these villagers. They especially loved to hunt me on my birthday, October the 10th. Hmm. One night they caught me in a corner and I was stabbed by kunais burn with torches like those monster shows he said chuckling a bit as Eva looked at him this boy what is he why would people do you like that she asked I don't know said Naruto hmm they just always call me a monster well that's most that I can hear they always say die demon monster but I don't understand why as Eva was now curious, why would humans do that to a human? Was he part monster or something? Was he a werewolf or something? But Eva smelled no werewolf stench on him, so she didn't understand. Well, I don't really understand, said Naruto, but I was beaten, burned. But after a while I would heal, and then it would just start all over again. Sometime I got saved by Gigi. But... He wasn't there all the time, and I still suffered by the hand of villagers, and I've went through so much. And if you're saying that if I don't drink blood, I will die, in 24 hours, well, let me die, he said. It's not like I have anything to live for. What about friends, she asked. Nah, don't really have any of those. Just have some people at school who like to put me down like I'm garbage. I have Gigi though. 
he would probably be sad when I die. And so would the old man and his daughter. But if you say I have to drink blood, doing that sounds really weird. And seeing that I don't really have anything to live for, yeah, I'll die, he said to her. As she saw the look on his face, as she looked at him, as she felt sorry for the boy, she had a similar life. A couple of years back, her mother was killed right in front of her, and she and her brother was the only one who escaped. She used to live at a nice, calm village with other vampires, and her mother was one as well, where her whole family was one. As her cousin, Samantha, went out one night partying with her friends and some of the head people of the village that she lived in was there and Samantha accidentally got into a little bit of scuffle with some other people. It was just an accident as one of them accidentally pushed her drink on Samantha and it spilled all over her dress. Samantha told her to apologize while the girl cursed her out. Samantha then got angry as she started the fight that was until the girl hand got caught. As Samantha saw the blood flowing, she handled herself at first. But the girl kept on insulting her. And because of the rage, Samantha went off. As she attacked the girl. She did it behind the bushes. But one of the men saw her as he didn't speak up anything at first. As Samantha ripped into her throat and drank all of her blood, killing her. As Samantha then went home, crying to her mother saying that she did a big mistake. That was Eva mother's sister. As Samantha mother told Eva mother. And she asked Samantha if anyone saw her. But Samantha tell them no. And that night, when Eva was much smaller, this vampire thing has something to do with your body. Some changes. I guess I should tell him about that as well. Hmm, he's still too small. I will tell him soon. Wait, he said he wants to die, Eva thought. Well, she looked back at Naruto as she started to speak again. Eva was sleeping as her brother was sleeping in the same room. Her cousin was sleeping with her mother and Eva's mother was sleeping all alone. And her father was on the couch. He was watching TV as usual. He always stayed up late in the night watching his favorite show, but he fell asleep. It was then that the house started to burn as gasoline and fire started to burn down the house. As Eva's mother rushed to Eva's room, as Eva was trapped, as her brother came there and pulled her out and brought her to safety, as her mother told her brother to get her out of there, Marcos. Bring Eva outside now. I will go and get your cousin. As her mother rushed back into the room to save her cousin and her sister. But it was then. One of the villagers outside met with someone. I'm glad that you're here, the man said. There in there, it was a mage. As Marcos brought Eva into the woods as quickly as possible with enhanced speed. It was then that the mage activate a dome around the house as he told all of the villagers to gather the kerseline as they threw it inside as Eva watched her entire family burn except for her brother Marcos as she cried and wanted to do something but she couldn't as Marcos hold her back and with that they fled and traveled the world for years upon years and that is when their body grew a vampire body will grow to its mature form even though they are immortal. Their body will grow until it reaches mature form and then it will stop. After maturing, both Eva and Marcos came back out in the world. They realized that vampires were still being hunted and hated after so many years. And they spent their life near the magic kingdom until Eva became friend with this boy. And you guys know the rest of the story. As Eva looked over at Naruto who was shocked to hear her story. Whoa. 
You just met me and you're telling me something so personal, said Naruto. Well, you said you were going to die anyways, so it doesn't matter if I tell you, right? Yeah, you're probably right, said Naruto. As he looked at Eva, why do you keep on living? He asked her. Well, I was living because I had my brother back then, but now I don't. So I don't really know why I keep on moving on and living. I guess I should probably end my life like what you are going to do, right? She said as she chuckled. Huh, you're making joke of this, said Naruto. But I won't, she said. And why is that, he asked. Because I'm in a new world now. I have started over so much time. I have changed my name. But still I remember my original name, Eva. But I changed my name and moved to other places with my brother. And we went around the entire world exploring. And now I'm in another world. And I know my brother wouldn't want me to take the coward's way out and kill myself. And you shouldn't do that either. You're stronger now. Well, you're going to be. If you drink blood. And you're going to be faster. And also have unique abilities. But I'll have to train you on how to use them. And control your blood loss. So... What do you say? Would you take the chance? Don't kill yourself, drink blood, and be an immortal vampire like me. And we will see what this elemental nations has to offer. So what do you say, boy, she said, as Naruto looked up at her. But guys, and be in this episode right here. If you want to see the next part of this, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell location, stay posted. And I hope you guys enjoy my story. So thank you all for your help and your support guys and please comment down below and tell me if you enjoy and want to see part 2 of this. But for now, I'm out. Peace.